How do we get consistent characters? You've generated an image of a character or person and you really like it and you want to be able to use it in other images or videos. You want to have that character doing different things in different places. Or maybe you've got a picture of yourself and you want AIU to be living their best life and going places and doing things, but you've only got the one image. So how do you get there? By the way, this video is sponsored by OpenArt. Well, we've got the characters feature in OpenArt where you can start with just a description to create a character that you can use over and over again, start with one single image and create a character that you can use over and over again and generating images and then convert them to videos. Or you have the start with four plus images that you can use to create your character and then generate images of that character. Great problem solved. We can go from one image using characters in open art and create a character. Awesome. But there's a reason they have that other option there of using four plus images to create a character. And that's because the more images you have of your character that you can feed into the AI robots, the more consistent your character is going to be when you go to use it in the images that you generate. And if you only have one image to start with, there are ways that you can turn that into multiple images of the same character so that you can get somewhat better results using the multi image training rather than the single image. You might remember my character Jimmy and the way I created him is I started with just a single image. Then I used open art ultimate upscale. I used precise because I really don't want it to change anything about Jimmy, but I used the ultimate upscale and got a nice high quality image of Jimmy. From there, I went to image to video. I used Kling as the model. For the prompt, I kept it really simple and said the man smiles, turns to the side and walks away. The goal here wasn't to make a video of Jimmy really doing anything. I just wanted to get a video that would have frames of him turned different ways maybe or different facial expressions so that I can extract those frames from the video. I left the creativity level in the middle, selected the pro quality and generated the video. Looking at the video it generated, I got some different facial expressions. I got him turned some different ways. I think this is going to work. So I took that video over to easy GIF or easy GIF, however you pronounce that, .com. This is a tip I got from Tal Prompts. If you're not already watching him and you're interested in AI video generation and image generation, he's way more talented than I am and does some really cool stuff. On this website, go to the video to GIF tab and then under that video to PNG. I dropped in the video that I generated of Jimmy. It takes it a minute to upload and get it ready. You can set the frame rate of how many frames per second you want it to pull out and then click convert to PNG. And now instead of the video, you've got the snapshots of all these various different frames. So I have quite a few images of Jimmy in different poses and facial expressions. You can download them all or just right click on the ones that you want and save those. Now the thing is that would give me a bunch of images of Jimmy with the exact same background and in the exact same clothing. And it's seems like it's becoming more of a thing to train models and characters that way, but I still feel like I'm getting better results if I have some different colors of clothing and different backgrounds and scenes and that kind of thing. So I wanted to change things up even a bit more. And to do that, I went into the open art editor. I used the inpaint tool to brush over Jimmy's clothing and then generate entirely new fashions for Jimmy. Also in the open art editor, it's really easy to remove the background from an image and either generate a new background or maybe generate a bunch of backgrounds and then use those with the blend board. Bring in the background image you wanna use, layer the image of your character in their new clothing over top, click on the blend and you've got a whole new image. And it's probably a good idea to upscale those afterwards so that you have some nice clean images with lots of details to use to train your character. So from that single image, after I generated the video, pulled out the frames, I was able to go through and change the background and the clothing of Jimmy and pretty easily come up with about six different images of the same character. But open art is making this a little bit easier for us. Now, if I go to my characters and create, we've got some quick templates like a character sheet or an action sheet or an emotion sheet. We can also have a studio turnaround video or a scene turnaround video. So we're using the character Jimmy. So anything we create is gonna be Jimmy. We'll just select the character sheet and click create. I'll set that for two images. Then let's do an action sheet. We'll create two of those and we'll do an emotion sheet and let's do two of those. So here's the character sheet and that gives me my character Jimmy from a few different angles. The second character sheet is slightly different and each time you generate, they can be a little bit different, which is handy because you can then get a bunch of different poses. Here's an action sheet. We've got Jimmy being all kinds of goofy and even more goofy in the other action sheet. That's pretty good. Emotions give us some facial expressions. Not a lot of differences in these generations, but if we re 
ran it again, we might get some more variety. So how could you use this? Well, imagine if you create a character from a single image and then you're able to generate some other images from that character, like these character sheets or action sheets or motion sheets. You generate enough of those. They're probably not all going to be perfect. In fact, I can almost guarantee they're not all going to be perfect, especially because you're working from one image. But if you can get some good generations out of these sheets that have different poses and different facial expressions, you could separate out those images and then use them to train another character. Basically, you know, Jimmy 2.0 or whatever you want to call it. Sure, there'll be some credits involved in that, but I think it's probably going to be a trade-off for time. You might want to try it out and see. Now, I didn't go super slow and methodical through every single step of the stuff I talked about in this video because it would have been like four hours long, probably, unless I could figure out how to say things quicker. But I was hoping to give you some ideas of different ways to approach trying to get consistent characters, even if you have only one image. And if you're enjoying the characters feature from open art, a little birdie told me that soon, like in the next week or so, we're going to be able to generate an image putting two characters in it from the start. So if two of your characters are Bob and Jimmy, you'll be able to say at Bob and at Jimmy are hiking in the mountains and it'll generate an image of your character Bob and your character Jimmy hiking in the mountains. Very much looking forward to that one. Hey, I hope you found this helpful. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.